Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Netflix World. In this video, I'm going to tell you about To Your Eternity Season 2 ending explained. Before move further, please like and subscribe my video and channel for more updates. In the 20th episode of To Your Eternity Season 2 titled End of an Era, the resident of Renner celebrate after successfully defending the city and defeating the knockers. Fushi promises to help everyone achieve their dreams and open up about his desire to spread his consciousness to fight the knockers and ensure world peace. Ending. While Fushi is focused on expanding his consciousness, the patent extremes learn that he is living in Renal. That's when they decide they must eliminate him as soon as possible and put an end to the weekends that he is spreading. Instantly, that's when Kaku meets these extremes and offers them his help. The determined man then melt as much iron as possible to carry out the attack they had planned. One of these extremes talk about Kaku when the preparations are still going on and learn that he has left the gardens and he is prepared to die for the cause that he is now believed in. While he is observing the huge furnace that is melting the iron, one of the extremes pushes him from behind. Kaku recalls how he was deemed unworthy of being his sixth successor because of his gender. However, he promised his elder that he will spend all his life providing his convention and showing that he is worthy of responsibility that is endowed on him by virtue of his birth. In the present day, the knocker and Kaku's arms managed to stop his free fall into the molten iron by extend his hand. But Kaku no longer want to be live and after announcing that he is love Fushi, he family simply cuts his arm off and die on the spot. Despite being in the state of spread out consciousness, Fushi can still instantly realize when someone close to him die. In the following years, Tonaria continued to write books on him while the anti faction continues to be quite active. But the goal to achieve peace and ensure that there is no suffering is no easy task. This is why Fushi is lost in his meditative state for decades. In the meantime, his friends grow old and start dying one after another. Messer passes away early because of his poor lifestyle and an overdose. Tonari dies at a very old age, surrounded by Sanders' descendants. After being revived, Bond leads a peaceful life as King's right-hand man. He also dies peacefully with his love, once at his beside. Gugu spent all his life helping others, but when the injury is caused while fighting the anti fushi faction threatened to take his life. He closes, chose to die peacefully in the same manner as March. In the meantime, Fushi is still not in his meditative state, hoping one day revive his friend as the great threat of knockers and.